waiting because there's other things I have to do. And the daylight is running out because other people only have places open till 5. I don't have the energy. I'm actually eating my reserves. So there's nothing I could do that's going to get any further. Because the job will be unfinished anyway. And these people need to pay me. So now I got to go to my customer and purge money out of him because the paint company isn't owning up to their mistake and being accountable. They think, okay, let me just replace the paint to the guy that's buying it. But now the guy that bought the paint for me, he has a hold up on his stuff. I'm looking bad to the outside world because now I'm painting this building twice, the one side. And it looks like people don't know. They just see me out here working or not and taking a long time and doing a blotchy job because it is. And if I had went around the back to the building and painted more, okay, this spots that need to be touched up. If I decided I want to finish the rest of the three sides before putting this coat on, I'd have a blotchy building now and I'd have like four more days of work. So you get in the way easy. So there's a Benjamin Moore supplier that needs to come and pay me $400 cash in an envelope to make up for my time right now. And that's the only way that's going to suffice. So you bring me the envelope, you shut up and you get the, get the hell away from me. And maybe I'll decide in the future if I want to use your services and your paint or not. But right now you owe me. You're in my pocket because I've worked and I shouldn't have to uh, torture my customer by trying to make sense of the situation because guess what? Money makes the world go around in a lot of ways and there's things I can't do with art and personality and right now it's about money and I've already worked for it. So my time is there. Like technically the time I put, my customer's job would be finished. I'd be happy on my way. They would have a great day. I'd be doing my stuff. And just because I decided to take an extra day myself because it's situations that are festering in other parts of my life. That's the grace I give myself for the life I live. That's not for anybody to say, okay, screw Daniel because he could have another day without this and that. So now I'm incurring late charges. I have to go to a different city to go to the bank. And because I haven't done that, guess what? Now I got late charges. And because I didn't use my ATM uh, 10 times, you know, because I can't go to the bank all the time. I didn't know how much was in there. So now I've been drafted the $10 service fee. So now I, I might have an overdraft or a zero balance in my bank account because of, uh, let's see, Asheboro Mall Security, one ignorant APD police officer, and now uh, a Benjamin Moore supplier in the same town. Start cleaning this up and making good. Okay, just because there's money involved doesn't mean you could dismiss everything else. And by the way, when you suffer the repercussions, don't hate the player, hate the game. And you see this wires and stuff? I got stuff to do on my own house. Imagine if you had stuff like this and maybe your wife and kids needed a better house or a better kitchen or a better bathroom. Okay, they'd be bitching at you. Okay, but luckily I don't have anybody, but that's not your grace. You don't rip me off because you have more on your plate. That's the bottom line of it. Okay, so I'm standing outside, I'm waiting for people to come because somebody's going to give me fucking money, okay, today, and uh, I was playing guitar and some old lady, she gave me a dollar, dude, and I'm watching traffic of all these people that think they're better than me, maybe, not all of them, but a couple of you do, and I know it, I see it in your eye, but guess what, here's the realness.